We have a few more Apple sales, plus a whole bunch of Apple news. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm just gonna dive right into this. We're gonna go through a couple different sales going on at Apple products right now, and then some funny kind of wacky stories from Apple if you like that kind of stuff. So sit back and relax, and let's get into some product specials first, and then the news, let's go. All right, so number one, this is not a huge special or sale, it just came back. So right now you can pick up the 2023, this is the, the M3 Pro, so it's the base model Pro 14 inch laptop you can get from Apple with the M3 chip. It's down to 1849 from 1999. Now this is not a huge sale because we saw this before. We actually saw it maybe at 1799, but it went back up and now it came back down. So if you're thinking about buying this, it's a good deal right now, pick it up on Amazon. The next one is for, you tell me, is this a good deal or not? We saw that the M1 chip was very similar to the M3 in a lot of different cases when we're getting up to these higher end chips as far as just the real world performance. So this might be a good deal. 14.2 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, mind you, and Apple Care Protection Plan. So this is gonna be the 2021. 3100, well you're saying, why is it so expensive? Well it's 1200 bucks off because it comes with 64 gigs of RAM and a two terabyte, two terabyte SSD on this thing and Apple Care for 3178, so 1200 bucks off. Now, uh, with the real world performance, it may not be a bad deal for creators. So, anyways, this is on B&H. All right, another one from B&H is the one that I have sitting right here. It's an M1 24-inch iMac. You might want to pick this up for a couple of reasons. It's $1599, 300 bucks off, where you're saying, why wouldn't I get the M3? This comes with 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD, so both upgrades. And on top of it, it gets the four ports on the back here. You can see it here. So you get four ports right there, which means it's the upgraded version of it. So with all that combined, you're getting a pretty good deal there. All right, the next one's the Apple Series Watch 9, and there's a reason why it's a great deal to pick up an Apple Series Watch 9 right now. I'll say that in a second. 329, 18% off right now, usually 399, it's on Amazon. So if you want that Series 9, this is the time. Why is it? Well, it might even go down more because look at this, Apple Ready's Apple Watch Series 9 ban workaround by disabling the blood oxygen functionality. So they had a kind of a dispute with Massimo and they were kind of a patent dispute. Long story short, Apple wasn't able to sell the 9 series. Now they can because they're gonna disable blood oxygen level. So if you like that feature, you're pretty much screwed. But if you don't, pick it up because you're gonna find a sale on it. And that's actually a pretty good deal because I would never use that, I don't think. I just don't like watching my halt all the time. It makes me a little too nervous. Every once in a while it would be nice, but I just don't, I don't know. And me, I mean, I like it, but at the end of the day, I just don't need all that stuff in my face all the time. All right, the next two, and then we're gonna get into the news, are just really basic ones, but still super good deals. This thing is 19% off again. It's the Apple 15.3 inch, the base model, eight gigs, 256, 1049. But look at that, 19% off, 1049 for that 15 inch MacBook Air. Really good deal right now. And not only is it you know a good deal, but you can get any color, not just the fingerprint magnet, which used to be the blue, but you can get all silver, gray, and the, you know, the, the little uh, goldish color. Forget what they call starlight. Anyways, not a bad deal there. So pick that up, that's on Amazon. I'll have links to all this. And then this is one of the better deals. So if you want 16 gigs of RAM and you want a laptop, here's a good deal. Apple 22 inch, 13 uh, inch, 13 inch MacBook Air, M2, but 16 gigs of RAM, only 256 gigs on the SSD. It's a slower one, obviously, but 1244, that's one of the cheapest prices I've seen for a 16 gigabyte, um, you know, in any type of a, a notebook or something from Apple. So keep that in mind if you're looking to do some video editing and you want that 16 gigs of RAM for a cheap price. All right, this next one, we're gonna get into the news now. This is kind of a news story, but at CES, you saw this a lot. So let me tell you if you've seen this before. This is coming out, it's called Clicks. Look at it right here. Look at this thing. It's a case for your, uh, you know, for your iPhone, right? And so if you actually look at it, it basically snaps. And let me go down to the bottom down here. There's a better picture right here. So it snaps into your iPhone and uh, it's a case. It keeps it protected, but it also gives you this keyboard down here, which you can use as a kind of a physical keyboard. Pretty cool, right? For people that want that. I mean, but what's the other advantage to this, I guess? They say that now you have the whole access to your screen, right? Usually it takes up half your screen, your keyboard. Now you'll have the whole access to the, all of the screen and the keyboards down here. The negatives is you need a super long pocket to carry this thing around. It's huge, obviously, but it's, they said it's the best implementation. There's been things like this done in the past, but they're saying as soon as you plug this thing in or put the case on, which is very easy to get on and off, it turns right on. No, no software and no, you don't have to hit any buttons or anything. So overall, the implementation is good, which might make this a pretty good product. The humanity, how does he do it? Anyways, the story says Tim Cook's pay drops to 63 million in 2023. And it, it dropped from, two, what is it? 
to drop to 63 from 99.4. How does he survive on this? It's just blasphemy. I mean, I have no idea. Anyways, you get the idea. So here we go. It, it dropped, re reduced by 40%, but he still makes almost $70 million. How is this even possible? I guess he's running the biggest, well, maybe the second biggest. I'm going to show you that in a second. He's one of the biggest companies in the world. And when you see kind of NBA players making 60 to $70 million a year, you got to scratch your head on that one for sure. When this is the biggest company in the world, maybe you can justify it, but I'm not buying it. So I still think it's too much money, um, but I guess they give pretty good returns on their, their share prices and stuff. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. All right, this next one is what I was just talking about. It says, Microsoft briefly edged out Apple as the most valuable company in the United States. So I guess there was a brief time where the stocks actually, in here it says, let me see if I can find it. It says, well, Microsoft's stock rose 57% in 2003. Apple's only went up 48%. And I guess their total you know, value, valuation is very close. So it just squeezed it out by a little bit. So maybe I take it back. Tim Cook isn't the biggest company in the world. Maybe it's the second biggest company. So maybe he shouldn't be making 66, maybe 65. This next article is interesting because I talked about this before. We all thought the PC sales and all that stuff was declining. Here it says PC sales are not declining, they're growing, says another report. So if you look in here, it says you can take, you know, whatever, there's two different companies saying two different things. It's saying that if you can take J.B. Morgan saying that they are in decline, or you can say Canley's saying that it isn't, all right, or C-A-N-A-L-Y-S. So it says right here, according to this, it says, that Apple, Apple secured a fourth position, selling 6.6 .6 million global units, achieving 9% growth in the last quarter of last year, 2023. So here it's saying that it actually went up. And then it says experiencing a 14% 14 14 decline in 2022. Long story short, it looks like it's starting to you know, kind of creep up. But I was thinking about it. You know, Apple came out with all these different products and they came out with like multiple versions of the same product. So they came out with like, obviously, let me just think what they came out with. They came out with the MacBook Pros um, and they actually had what the M2s and the M3s in the same year. And they squeezed them out at the end of the year, I think, just to get these sales numbers up. Anyways, it looks like it worked in the, in the last quarter there. So we'll see how it, this next year does. I mean, we don't know. I know for a fact that the Vision Pro won't be selling too well. And here's a story about the Vision Pro. So look at this. It says Vision Pro demo experience in Apple stores. Here's exactly what you should expect, all right? So you walk into it. First of all, it says it's good. It says big Apple stores are going to have about a dozen headsets all strewn out. You know, you can go, but, but you can't just go up and use them. You got to go and schedule. So it says right here, book a Vision. This is actually from 9 to 5 Mac too. Book a Vision Pro demo here. So you got to, you know, February 2nd, you can go in and book your demo if you want to go spend that cash, right? Then it says you got to get a face scan for sizing. So it's going to have to do a face scan on you. If you're against that, you're going to have to do it. So I guess they want the experience to be perfect. It's going to be the light seal foam cushion band size. So they're going to do that first. Then they're going to scan for your eyeglass prescription lenses. So keep that in mind. You're going to need to do that. And then they can go ahead and I guess they have a bunch of different prescriptions there to help you out. So you get the good experience. They're going to give you a quick run through before you put it on. It says, let me just see here. It says employee will explain how the interface works. So it's going to be some time here. You got to schedule this in. Then it says wearing and calibrating the headset. You're going to wear it and calibrate it. But the actual demo here, it says users will be directed to look at photos first, still images, to see how they look in the thing. Then the demo will start getting more interesting with customer 3D images that Apple calls spatial photos, 3D photos. They're going to show you that. The next part of the demo will actually be an iPad replacement. It's going to explain how to position multiple windows up so you can actually do some work on it. And then the fourth thing, customers are then shown 3D and immersive movies, including clips of wild animals, oceans, and sports. So it says store staff will see what you see. So they're going to be seeing exactly what you see. There's, there's no problems there. Demo is intended to leaving you wanting more, not to answer all your questions. So you can schedule this in. You can do all that stuff. But I mean, it looks like it's going to be available on February February 2nd. But you get to plop down 3,500 bucks for this, plus lenses costs, which I think are a couple hundred bucks overall. And I think we might even talk about that later. But still, it's pretty incredible, right? All that money, all that time, just to demo it. But overall, I think that there's other products coming out that are a lot cheaper, so we're going to have to see how this goes. And if you just wondered, and I mean, some people wonder about this, it says Apple Vision Pro M2 chip said to have 10 GPU, 8 CPU cores. So 10 GPU, 8 CPU. It's going to be an M2 chip right here with 10, you know, obviously 10 and 8. So it's a little bit different than the standard chip there. Um, so I guess, you know, they're not using M3s. They're going to be using the typical, what is it, 5 nanometer process it looks like here. I guess that's fast enough to run everything it needs to do. I'm sure it's obviously going to be upgraded soon, but you're not getting the upgraded chip if you were wondering what the M3 with this. Even for that $3,500, bucks, you are getting the M2. 
Now, this isn't a good commercial for Apple. I don't know what is, but tell me, there's a funny thing at the end of this. It says, iPhone from onboard uh, Alaskan Airlines incident found. It survived 16,000 foot drop. If you've heard the story from Boeing, I guess, one of their doors flew off one of their airplanes on the Max version of their plane. I guess it sucked a bunch of phones out. This iPhone survived a $16,000 drop. Obviously, it hit some soft stuff on the ground, so who knows? But I ask you a question. I've seen numerous videos where people drop their iPhone from an inch off the ground and it cracks. Here's one from 16,000 feet. So what's the moral of the story? It's just luck, right? I mean, if it falls into a bed of leaves, you might survive. If it falls into a, you know, if it falls from three inches onto cement, it's not going to. So while this is a good commercial, I think we all understand it's just the luck of the draw. If you have an Apple Card or you want a good savings account, here's one from Apple. So we all know about the Apple Card, it says, but it says savings interest rate gets a second boost in a fortnight. I don't know what that means. But basically it says just two weeks after the previous hike, the annual percentage rate APY is now 4.35%, 4.35% for a just savings account. So if you have $100,000 in there, you know, you're gonna make each year about 4350, 4350 bucks, so 4350 bucks. Divide that by 12, that's your monthly earnings on $100,000 in the bank. Most people don't have $100,000 in the bank, I understand, but if you did, that's what it would be. Just simple math, right? Anyways, long story short, pick one up. That's actually a really good deal if you want a savings account, but there's probably some better options at better local banks and it's easier to get your money and stuff. So anyways, just wanted to throw it out there. This last article, and this is the last one I have, is kind of interesting. It says Apple received over 2,500 U.S. patents in 2023. So Apple was granted 2,536 patents in the United States. It's only surpassed by six other companies. So it says, let me just see in here. It says Apple's previous, it says Samsung was number one with the most, and then Qualcomm, TSMC, IBM, Canon, and Samsung Display. It said Samsung Display had over 6,100 patents. So that's interesting. I mean, they're beating Apple by quite a bit, but Apple was sixth, it looks like. But it says Apple's uh, patent filings offer, it's basically interesting insight into the company's specific areas of research and development. So it says most interesting Apple filings include all glass iPhones and Apple Watches, a removable MacBook key that works as a mouse, user authentication technology for AirPods, a hydration sensor for the Apple Watch, and Mac Pro's cheese grater like design on other Apple devices, which would be kind of cool. Periscope camera systems and deployable MacBook Pro feet to aid in cooling. So for all it's worth, those are some things that Apple's thinking about. I think it's kind of interesting. I don't know about you. We're going to wrap this up. This is all I got for today. Some sales and some news like I normally do. I hope everyone's having a great week out there. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. I'm in Chicago and it's super cold here. It's like negative 10 this in the last couple of days. So stay warm out there unless you watch this in the summer, of course. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.